All right, in today's lesson, we're going to focus on a third method of solving systems. This one's called elimination. A lot of people absolutely love this method. So we're going to do this lesson in two parts, starting with the easier problems, and then we'll do a separate one on the harder type. So elimination method, it says, the first step is we need to arrange the equations with like terms and columns. It's typical to put them in standard form. Second, you need to make either x terms or y terms opposite, and you have to choose a strategic number to multiply both by um, to make that happen. Third, you're going to add the resulting equations and solve for the last variable or the remaining variable, and then substitute the value that you get and solve for the other variable. That's like using substitution, which we've done. And then, like always, check your answer. So this will make sense. You'll want to have these to refer to as you go through steps, especially on your own. But let's just look at a few problems. So first thing that we have to look at are these arranged in like columns. And if we check it out, we've got the x's here. And then we have the y's. And then we have the numbers. So they're all arranged in like columns already. So that's good. Second, we have to make a pair of terms opposites, either x's or y's. And notice 2x and negative x, the x's are already opposites. So that's ideal. When that happens, you can go straight to step 3, which is perfect. When you're going straight to step 3, you're going to add straight down the column. So 2x plus negative 2x, that's 0. It's gone. I'm not going to write it. 3y plus 9y is 12y. And 11 plus 1 is 12. Okay, what's beautiful about this is we've added the same thing to both sides because I said these things are equivalent, so we've done mathematically accurate things, and now we have this beautiful simple equation, 12y equals to 12, and it only has one variable. So I'm going to get y alone by dividing both sides by 12, and I get y equals 1. Just like in substitution, I'm not done. I need to solve for the other variable. So if I go back, say I plug in y into either equation, it doesn't really matter. I'll plug it into the first one. So I'm going to do 2x plus 3 times 1 equals 11. So 2x plus 3 equals 11. If I subtract 3 from both sides, I get 2x equals 8. And then divide by 2, I get x equals 4. So I believe that my solution is 4, 1. And I like to just check it in the other equation just to make sure. So if I go ahead and check it, I'm going to get um, is negative 2 times 4 plus 9 times 1, is that really equal to 1? Well, negative 8 plus 9 is 1. So since 1 equals 1, this checks out. And the first equation also works out because 2 times 4 plus 3 times 1 is 11. Okay, so similar to substitution, but we just start differently. Okay, here's another basic level problem. So the first thing, check. Are they lined up? Well, yes, the x's are first, the y's are second, the, um, the constants are last. Second, is there a pair of opposites? Well, no, there's not in this case. So we need to multiply either the first equation or the second by a strategic number. Since 3y and 3y are really similar, it's really easy to make them a pair of opposites if you choose to multiply one of the equations by negative 1. I'm going to choose to multiply the first equation by negative 1. And then I'm going to rewrite it again over to the right. So negative 1 times negative 2x, that's 2x. Negative 1 times 3y, that's negative 3y. And then 17 times negative 1 is negative 17. So that's my new first equation. It's equivalent to my first one. I just multiply both sides by negative 1. And then I'm just going to write the second equation straight out. 5x plus 3y equals 52. And now I have a pair of opposites, so I'm going to add these two equations straight up. So 2x plus 5x is 7x. Negative 3y and positive 3y, those zero out. Negative 17 plus 52 is 35. So I have 7x equals 35. Nice, pretty equation. I can just solve it for x by dividing both sides by 7. And I get x equals 5. But again, I'm not done. I need to plug this back in and solve for y. And I can choose to plug it into either equation. I'm going to pick the second one since it's all positives, and I just think I might not mess up as much. Oops, I, I should draw the arrow over to the x. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have 5 times 5 
plus 3y equals 52. When I solve this, I get 25 plus 3y equals 52. Subtracting 25 from both sides leaves me with 3y equals 27. And when I divide by 3, I get y equals 9. So my solution appears to be x is 5, y is 9 as an ordered pair. And if I check it in both equations, I'll give you that task, but it does work out perfectly.